What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Red and today we are back with another episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Now in the last episode we fought a ton of different monsters and it was super epic. This time we are going to make the journey up the 7,000 steps on our way to see the Greybeards. So without further ado, let's start walking. Just slay you goat. Yeah. Steal your stuff. I need all of the healing items I can because in the last episode, I got my ass kicked by a bunch of different creatures that I was not ready to fight. And so I have definitely learned my lesson. All right, hold on. Let's take a gander at how high we are. Oh shit! There's a nice wolf right here. Oh, oh! Come here, buddy. Don't run away from me. Where are you headed? I'll chop you up. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's almost dead. Come on, come on. We gotta get it. We gotta kill that sucker. Oh, this is a regular wolf. I'm trying to defend his buddy's honor. Oh, there he is. Hiya! Kick you in the face and slash you in the neck. Whoa, that seems like enemy music. Oh, it's a nice wolf. Get it, Lydia. Oh, I got it. Mm. Done. I think I've decided that I want this guy's build to be a sort of magical ranger, in a sense, where I'm going to... Get my heavy armor up a little bit just with these uh, first couple levels so I don't die. And then I'm going to switch to light armor because I think light armor looks cooler. And there's a lot more options in the ranger category with the light armor. So I'm going to have my light armor, my heavy armor skill, my one-handed, and my archery, and my destruction up. And those are the categories I've decided to work on besides some other categories like obviously lock picking and sneaking some that just get up by uh, playing the game regularly and yeah so that's the kind of place I, I want to go for this time once I get past these first couple beginning missions and wow look at the increased depth of view that is amazing no not sneak oh yeah sneak actually oh shit does he know I'm here yeah he does I forgot that he was up there. I'm missing him with all these arrows. He's dipping and dodging like a boss. Alright, last time a troll super kicked my ass. So I'm gonna let it kick Lydia's ass while I do shock damage to it. And then... I'm going to switch to... My axe... Uh, and then I'm going to try to paralyze him. Bring it on, sucker. Oh, he is paralyzed. While he's getting up, we can do almost all of his damage. Let's put another uh, weak paralysis potion on. Alright, he did a lot of fucking damage. Oh, he's paralyzed one more time, and boom! Final blow. He is done. Take all of his stuff. Is this rock specially here to show the increased depth of field? Wow. Look at that. You can even see the, the lake way down there. Wow. Is that supposed to be... Is that where Riften is? Oh no, I'm looking towards Riverwood right now. Oh, and that's back that way. Oh, okay, so that is the barrel. That is the barrow, excuse me, from the second episode that we traveled in. Sweet. That is awesome. It's so cool that you can see that from up here. Oh man, I am so in love with this game. Hi, Hrothgar. 
All right, let's put the offerings in here. And then let's get one more gander at the beautiful landscape before we head inside. Oh, Lydia, where are you going? Crazy bitch almost fell off the fucking cliff. Look at that. That's White Run down there. And there's the barrel that we went to. Oh my goodness, this place. Oh, wow. I love it. Words cannot describe my love for this game. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Angir. Now, tell me, Dragon. Nice to meet you, Angir. Yo, mama ain't shit! Everyone knows insulting a ghost's mom is the only way to dispel them. Learn me some of that knowledge. Learn me some of that knowledge. Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Hmm. Interesting. Markings on the ground. I see, I see. I understand now. Give me that gift. Oh, spiritual givenness. It kind of seems like most of the gift is going over there, though. Retrieve the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. Will do. To the way of the voice. Retrieve the horn. Sky. Alrighty. Sweet. We gotta go retrieve that horn. Where the fuck is the horn located? Oh, it is way the shit over there. All right, looks like this is the dungeon. Ustingrav. Ustingrav. Oh, shit. I was about to go in there. There are bandits all over the place. She summoned a dead body, too. You the time to get lost, friend. Yeah, I know. Hell of a time, huh? You're I'm gonna kill all four of you. Watch me jump around. Hey! Woo! Nice. Oh shit. This guy died straight out the freaking gate. Bum rush him! Yeah, dead. Oh, bashed him. Oh no, I have whirlwind sprint on. Ah, it doesn't matter. Spash your fucking head over the rocks. Whoa, ballerina, ballerina spin. Whoa. You bastard. Oh, sorry, Lydia. I did not mean to slash you. Come on. Boom! Head smash. Woo! Yeah, coin purse at the end and Ustingrav deaths. Huh? Huh? What? What? Huh? Where are we? Ustingrav deaths. That's where. What's going on, buddy? Bash! Slash! 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 Bash! Nice job, Lydia. You beast. You absolute tank of a woman. And I mean that in the best way possible. You power through the enemies like a tank. You're not large like a tank. LOL. Oh my god, everything's on fire now. What the fuck? Who's this? Bitch. Wake up, sucker. Oh no, what? I'm holding too much again? Oh, that's why. I have these stupid, that stupid battle axe. I know I don't have a lot of room for shit, but I am definitely taking all the food I can carry. Whoa, look at all this cheese. Real leaks. I'm taking all of this food. Whoa. Oh, sorry, Lydia. One handed is 35. Boom! Right in the dome. Stupid ginger. 
Alright, let's go this way. Oh, there's a word wall down there. How the heck? Learn me some knowledge, wall. Nice. Become ethereal. I'm unsure as to how I get back up. Oh. <laughs> hey, watch it. Hey, shut the fuck up, Lydia. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, that was close. Tucked myself back. I don't know if I would have gotten hurt from that fall, but I was not willing to risk it. Okay, this is where you use Whirlwind Sprint. So you have to go... into Whirlwind Sprint. And then... Lydia, goddammit. Get in the fucking way. No! I blame Lydia for that. Run! Oh no! Did I get trapped? Yeah, I did. Does that automatically have that one up though? Wait, so do I just have to run past these and then do Whirlwind Sprint? Like... Oh fuck, I hit the doorway. God damn it. I think that would have worked though. Yes! I've done it! Come on, Lydia. I think you can get through now that I'm through. Oh, I think this is the spider part. Ah! Increase my heavy armor, I dare ya. Bitch. Sweet sauce. Alright. Oh, man. Actually, I'm gonna use food to heal. Cut through these spider webs and see what else this dungeon has for us. Oh, a wooden door. Leading to another door. Leading to what looks to be the boss room. I am going to quick save. Shit out of this. Yeah, they're already dead. I think that's because that lady from the Blades has already been here. Take all the stuff. Alright, well, looks like we have to go to the Sleeping Giant Inn to find out whoever the fuck took this goddamn horn. But, luckily, we are in a room with a bunch of urns and an amazing chest that gave us a super cool orcish mace.
Now I'm good. Let's get going then. All right, and that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, part four of our Skyrim special edition walkthrough. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. And if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe because I do upload videos quite often. Uh, I upload randomly, to be quite honest, but I do try to do one every day. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you're up to date on all my videos. And with that being said, I will see all you fuckers in the next goddamn video. Peace out.